You're listening to kick off with Hugh Wizencroft and Darren Ambrose, the former at Newcastle and Charlton winger. Uh, his team Spurs taking on Luton Saturday, three o'clock, exclusively live here on TalkSport. It's not on UK TV, so make sure you're listening. Adrian Durham alongside Alex Crook and the former Arsenal midfielder at Perry Groves for that one. Listen, Tottenham Hotspur at the moment, fifth in the table, three points behind Aston Villa, who are currently fourth. Spurs have a game in hand. And at the moment, Luton Town sit just one point above Nottingham Forest, just outside the relegation zone in 17th spot. Um, But we're asking Spurs fan, really, if you don't make the Champions League, would that be a failure of a season? Do you have to be in the top four for Ange Postacoglu's first year at the club to be deemed a success? Now, remember, Spurs missed out on Europe altogether last year for the first time in 14 years so maybe just reaching Europe of any description would be seen as a positive season but are you one of those that feels like you have to be in Europe's elite competition give us a call 03717 4 Spurs fan Darren Ambrose your thoughts uh, yes and no to, to that question. I think if I if I look solely how I felt before the season started and Ange Postacoglu had just come in, there was not not question marks, but a few criticisms of, of why he's coming in and what's he going to bring to the club. And I did feel it could be a worse season than last season. So if I look at what we're doing now as a football club and the exciting football that we're playing... Look, win, lose or draw, it's always a good game. Then I say yes, it's a it's a been a fantastic season, even if we get Europa League, probably not Europa Conference, but Europa League. Mm. But expectations change throughout the season. I understand that. If we hadn't had that that capitulation against Chelsea in terms of the sendings off, the collateral damage that come with that in terms of the injuries, and then went on that five game um, winless run mm. we could be right higher up in the division talking about question questionably can we upset the the top three yeah that's not the case if Spurs were going to finish in the Champions League it might be fifth it might be fourth it's looking likely that it could be top five but I still feel as a Spurs supporter just get the top four done so there's no question marks over it it's in Spurs's hands Only have to win the next game by what more than one goal, and your game in hand. Sorry, against uh, in terms of Aston Villa, you can then go in the top four. So it's in Spurs' hands. They've got some tough games coming up. We know that as 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 have Aston Villa as well. But just to be in this position for me, when I look back, what I felt at the start of the season, I'm delighted with the way it's gone. I think the 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 pressure comes next season. You know, after the transfer window, can he get more players in to to play the way he wants mm. to play and have his team? Then, because he's endeared himself to everyone this season, the pressure becomes a little bit higher next season. If he can manage to get Champions League football this year, I honestly think it's a sensational season. Yeah, it's massive for the club if they get top four because we've seen a very good style of football under Ange Postacoglu. Clearly, he needs more players of real quality to fit into his system. And that's why I think it would be a big blow for Spurs if they were to miss out on the Champions League, just because it helps so much in terms of your recruitment. You're going for players and you're saying, look, this is the first year of me at the football club. We lost big name players. We've had injuries. We've had suspensions. And yet we still managed to finish the top four and we're going to go from strength to strength. So this is a football club that you want to be at for the next three, four years at least of your career. It's it's such a bigger sell if you can get yourselves into the Champions League. But mm. I already feel like this season has been a success for Tottenham Hotspur because yeah. what we've seen, early shoots of a new manager in terms of that style, it's really shown us that they could have the potential to go on and be one of those sides competing at the top of the table. I don't think anyone would have expected Spurs to show us so much quality, really, in this first season of Postacoglu, who, by the way, lots of people questioned mm. That appointment, those that had seen him at Celtic actually knew he was going to be fine in English football. But some people were like, what? We've got the Celtic manager. We need to compete with Klopp and Guardiola. Arteta, what he's doing at Arsenal, we're bringing in Celtic's boss. And I think people were very unfair to Postacoglu at the start. And clearly within the first 10 games when Spurs were top of the table, you know, a lot of that was was put to rest by a lot of people. Mm. But I think getting into the Champions League, would, would I think it would make it one of the best managerial performances of the season and certainly put Postacoglu 
for me, is one of the nominees yeah. for Manager of the Year. No, I agree. I agree. I think if I look back at last season, 14 defeats last season, only seven so far this season, 18 wins to 16 this season, still 10 games to go. And a lot of those are, are very much winnable. It's not only... Look, Spurs have always been kind of stable uh, on the business side of things, a stable football club, um, because we don't spend a lot of money when we get money come in. But what Ange has brought to the club in terms of stabilising it in the football side of things as well and um, bringing the supporters not back because they've always been fantastic supporters but bringing the joy yeah. back to watching yeah. the football team that's what any supporter wants is to go to the team and be proud of watching them win, lose or draw you've really had a go and lost a lot of players and you can't always put it down to injuries and certain international tournaments that we've lost a lot of players, as has everyone. But just to be where we are now after last season, it's, it's, it's a credit to what Ange Postacoglu and the team are doing. I don't mean it as disrespect to Aston Villa, but you're looking at a team that I don't think's finished in the top six since 2010, I think so. So it has been a while since Villa were at this end of the table really pushing. And I think Spurs would feel, you know, maybe you miss out to, to Manchester United, maybe if they have a good season, that can happen. I think they would feel like they should be finishing above Aston Villa. Slight disrespect to Villa, but I think a lot of Tottenham fans might feel disappointed because they'll look at Villa going off to the Champions League and they'll be thinking, we could have easily done that. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how Spurs fans feel about it. Let's get to the calls. 03717 Dean is a Spurs fan. Good evening. Hi, hey, Dean. Hello, man. Hi, guys. How are you? Yeah, good. Very well. How are you feeling about your side's performance so far this season and... Do you need to be top four for it to be a success? No, I don't. I don't necessarily think we do. I think if we, you know, when we played Burnley away last season, uh, when Conte went on that massive run, I think everyone as Spurs fans, I think you know, we just wanted a change. I don't, I don't think you know us now having and I don't think anyone, even the pundits at the beginning of the season, gave them a chance of even getting top ten. And the fact that you know we're fifth and really you know got a game in hand we're in the driver's seat of potentially getting top four um because, yeah and the fact you know with the football that we're playing you, you compare it to last season under Conte and then even Mourinho up before that it's probably the worst two years as a Spurs fan I've had since the support of the club so the fact that you know we're playing similar to foot, similar football to when Potts was manager you, you know we're pretty much living in dreamland if we're comparing it to the last two years Dean, if, if you look to the future, how important do you think it is that Spurs do finish in the Champions League? It might be top five, as you mentioned, in terms of if Spurs want to be challenging higher up in the next few years, you have to finish in the Champions League to be signing Champions League quality players. If they don't, considering they're in no competition, no European competition, does that then become a little bit more of a disappointment? Um, yeah, I mean, it's... There's two ways you can look at it. I mean, obviously, getting top four, we're going to attract the, the better players. Mm. Um, the board, obviously, if Anders is getting top four, the board's likely to chuck more money in his way because he's probably surpassed his, the actual expectations that they've, you know, put on him this season. So I think, obviously, yeah, top four helps with Champions League. Better players are going to want to come to us. Big uh, money. Big money being in the Champions League next year. Eight group games, remember, four at home. Mm. It really does help Tottenham if they're in it. Yeah, I mean, we're just the yo-yo club, mate. I mean, one minute we're <laughs> mashing Villa away and then the next week we're getting battered by Fulham. So I think, you know, getting top four, hopefully we'll get some players in that actually eventually stops us being a club partner. Let me ask you about the manager. How, how impressed have you been with him so far this season? Because you mentioned being a bit of a yo-yo club and maybe results being a little bit inconsistent at times. When you look at the kind of recent run... It has been a little bit in different draw, defeat in the FA Cup, win, draw, win, loss, win, win, loss. Yeah. You know, do you blame the manager for any of that? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, if you look at the beginning of the season when we, you know, we went on like a seven-game winning shoot, we were top of the league. I don't think any of us as first ones was complaining then. And the players really haven't changed. So, I mean, he's putting basically the same players out. So, I mean, it's something changed with the players. Um I think sometimes you've got to put a bit of respons responsibility on them, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, we're quite thin up top. We've got Sun, but is he an out and out striker? Probably not. Um, we've not replaced Kane. And, 
you know, in the middle of the park. The seam is not doing what he was doing in, at the beginning of the season. Um, so, I mean, look, we still need to get some players in and strengthen certain positions. Um, but you can't, yeah, you know, I don't think any of us as Spurs can, can complain. Dean, I, I appreciate your call right now, and I, I completely agree with you just about everything you're saying. Mm. Not sure everyone does. Let's go to James, Spurs fan. Good evening. What's your view on it? Hi, James. Hi. Um, I'll be honest with you. If we don't get top four, I, I'm going to ask serious questions of this manager. Why so much? <laughs> why, why? Top four or Champions League? Look, top four. We cannot finish behind Aston Villa. And to be honest with you, I'm actually scared that we've got Manchester United breathing down our necks. So if, if we allow Manchester United to leapfrog us, because look, there's no guarantee we'll get top four. Let's get this straight, okay? We play dodgy football. It's, it's, it's up and down, up and down, up and down. It, it, as you mentioned, it's, it's, it's yo-yo football. Darren? I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what to take of that. Like, it's, it's such a been a, such a positive season for for Spurs supporters, and you're already questioning the manager if we don't make top four after last season. Yeah, I would. To be honest with you, I def I definitely would. Um, I would question the manager. We have to make top four. What what Do questions would you make of him then? What what would you say he's done wrong if you don't make top four, other than making top four? Is he the right man? Because look, we've got a style of play. Yes, it's exciting, but we it, it, we concede goals. But you can imagine with better players, with more time, this Tottenham team's going to improve. Surely, it's his first uh, year. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not too sure to be honest with you. I think everybody's got a fascination with him. You know, he's done okay, but he needs to make top four. There's no way. Look, Man United, it, it's, it's been really, really, really bad. Right, extremely mm. bad. Aston Villa, now, if you can't finish at top of... This is your best chance to get top four. Let's, let's be honest. It is, so, it is. so it's literally just Aston Villa. If you finish above Aston Villa, he's done a good job. If yes. you don't, he's done a bad job. Is there no middle ground at all? There's no middle ground. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, James. Um, so what I'm should being... happen if you don't finish top four? Um, yeah, I would, I would want him out of the club. You'd want him out for finishing yeah. fifth. I think yeah. you're in the massive minority there, James, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, uh, well. Well, it'll be interesting. People are listening now, so talking. people are going to obviously that's call up. We're going to get some messages. Stay it's tuned because you'll hear the, the, the replies. Well, all right, no worries. But, Appreciate yeah. it, James. Thank you very much for your call. Strong opinion there. I, there can't be many fans that feel like the I, I'd, I, I, I'd love to put a poll out to see if anyone agrees with what James says. If... It's a he's a success. It is a great opportunity. No, you got to no, agree with what he's, he's saying. He's there. done a great job if he finishes above Aston Villa. If he doesn't, he's done a terrible job and he's to go out the club. But here's the way that you, you know you mentioned, for example, the five game winless run. I think what James is trying to say here is this is this this season is an incredible opportunity for Tottenham to get into the top four. Now I don't think Manchester United are going to catch them. They're six points behind Spurs at this point in time, so I think that's going to be tough. Tottenham can conceivably catch Aston Villa. Remember, Aston Villa are in Europe in a competition yeah. that they're probably favourites to go and win the Europa Conference League. So they might be distracted by that. Both Villa and Spurs have to play the top three teams between here and the end of the season as well. Yeah. So it's not like they've got easy fixtures. But I understand that it's, it's pretty open for Tottenham. If they can put a run together here, you know, you'd, you'd kind of make them favourites. It's in Spurs' hands. Yeah. It's in Tottenham's hands. But no, if they finish behind Aston Villa on goal difference... I'm not going to say, oh, he needs to leave the club. I don't think well, any yeah, Spurs support would that's say that. That's strong, that's strong. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.